The Baltic Sea is a world of cold, dark water. It is a relatively young sea, cradled by ancient lands. Its floor is a tapestry of shipwrecks and glacial scars, a silent museum of history. But in the summer of 2011, something else appeared, something that did not belong. A team of Swedish oceanographers, the Ocean X team, were searching for sunken treasures. They were charting the seabed, hoping to find the ghostly remains of a lost vessel. Their sonar, a device that paints pictures with sound, suddenly sent back an image so strange, so unexpected, that it stopped their expedition in its tracks. It was a perfect circle, a shadow lurking in the gloom, nearly 300 feet below the waves. This was no shipwreck, it was something else entirely. The discovery was made by Peter Lindbergh and Dennis Asberg. These men were seasoned explorers of the sea's hidden depths. Yet this find was different. The image on their screen was not the jagged outline of a wreck or the familiar shape of a rock formation. It was a vast, circular object, almost 200 feet in diameter. It looked for all the world like something manufactured, something purposefully designed. The sonar painted a picture of smooth, rounded edges and features that seemed almost architectural. What followed was a series of curious and unsettling events. As the Ocean X team's vessel sailed directly over the anomaly, their equipment began to fail. Satellite phones inexplicably cut out. Certain cameras refused to function. The moment they sailed away from the strange circular location, everything returned to normal. It was as if some unseen force, an electrical or magnetic field, was emanating from the object below. This technological interference was not something the experienced crew had ever encountered. It added a layer of high strangeness to an already baffling discovery, turning a scientific curiosity into something that felt almost otherworldly. Returning to the site, the team sought to create a more detailed picture of the anomaly. Using more advanced sonar, they mapped the object with greater precision. The results were astonishing. The object was not just a simple disk, it appeared to have features that suggested intelligent design. There were straight lines and right angles, shapes rarely found in natural geology. It resembled a colossal stone mushroom, raised on a pillar some 26 feet high. The main circular object itself was thick and rounded, with a texture that some described as rough concrete or granite. It had stair-like formations and a long runway-like track leading away from it for nearly 1,000 feet across the seabed. At nearly 200 feet across, it is roughly the size of a jumbo jet. Divers who managed to reach the object and take samples brought back fragments of rock. Initial analysis suggested it was a type of granite or gneiss common in the region. Dr. Volker Bruchert, a geologist from Stockholm University, examined the samples and concluded they were simply rocks, likely transported by glaciers. The vacuum of definitive proof has been filled by a host of competing theories, ranging from the mundane to the extraordinary. The leading scientific explanation is that the anomaly is a natural rock formation. Of course, the most sensational theory is that the anomaly is of extraterrestrial origin. Its shape has been famously compared to the Millennium Falcon from Star Wars. In the years since its discovery, the Baltic Sea anomaly has remained stubbornly elusive. The primary obstacle to solving the mystery is funding. Marine expeditions are incredibly expensive. Recent developments have been few and far between. The debate continues to rage online and in documentary films, but new data has been scarce. The official response from governments and major scientific institutions has been one of resounding silence. Why has no government agency with access to submarines and advanced survey tools stepped in to provide a final conclusive answer? This official disinterest fuels the fires of conspiracy, suggesting that perhaps the truth is being deliberately kept under wraps. And so the Baltic Sea anomaly endures, suspended between geological fact and science fiction. It is a Rorschach test projected onto the seabed, where some see a rock, Others see a battleship and still others see a starship. What really lies down there in the cold, silent darkness? The sea holds its secrets well, and deep beneath the waves of the Baltic, a great question mark remains, waiting patiently in the dark for an answer.